just a disclaimer, if you are after any sort of meaningful content or commentary that is coherent in any way, this is not the video for you. <laughs> Hi, if all goes well, I'm posting this at 9am. Check me out being productive in the mornings. But the idea is you can do your makeup while I also do my makeup and it's like a real get ready with me. Like, so if you're not doing your makeup right now, you're not allowed to watch. Well, no, you are, please watch. But you're just a party pooper, join in the party. I was going to film a video and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do my makeup anyway. I might as well also film that. So this is that. I hope that's cool. By the way, I have not prepared like any of my products, so this isn't gonna be like, ooh, look at my perfectly cleaned makeup brushes, because let's be real, I've not cleaned my makeup brushes. Ever? No, I have. It's been a while. Um, but so, sorry, this isn't, this isn't a, a tutorial of any kind. I'm just gonna put some things on my face and I hope that's cool. So let's have a chat, so. First of all, should I tell you what I'm putting on? Yeah, I will. As you can't see from this bottle, this is the Bare Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Primer. Ooh -hoo -hoo. This is a tiny bottle and I'm sad about it because I bought a big bottle once and cool story, bro. If you live in the UK or if you follow anybody on social media that lives in the UK, you will know that it is snowing. I got this Kylie Cosmetics concealer the other day and I do really like it, but it's far too pale for my skin tone. So it's quite nice for under the eyes because it's brightening. Um, and God knows I need to get rid of these bags, but um, it's actually not very good for like concealing actual spots and blemishes. And my skin is probably the worst it's ever been. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's like transparent. It's so pale. <laughs> I live in like a tiny little town and I had to abandon my car in the city nearby at a friend's house. Whew, that's too much concealer. Um, at a friend's house the other day and I haven't been able to retrieve it yet because I can't leave. <laughs> no buses are running. Um, the roads from the city into here are completely blocked so no one can get in or out. England is just not equipped to deal with this. But as a result of that, I have been in the same room for three days now. So yesterday was a complete waste of a day. I just watched Say Yes to the Dress for about six hours until I wanted to murder everybody, myself included, because why was I watching such trash when I had so much to do? But so today we're trying to be a bit more productive. I'm gonna try and pre-film some videos. So obviously I'm filming this one now for Saturday and then hopefully I'm gonna be able to film Wednesday's video in a minute. So you'll see this makeup on again on Wednesday. I put it on my spots anyway, but it hasn't done very well at covering them. I don't know if you can see that if the exposure is a bit too high. Look, you know, like it's just not great. So I'm gonna use this Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer in the color one. And this is still super pale, but slightly less pale than the Kylie Cosmetics one. I'll pop some on my nose as well. So yeah, today, plan is, I'm gonna pre-film some videos. I do want to do more singing ones, so maybe I'll do one of those as well. But I've got some really exciting vlogs coming up soon. Now I'm gonna use my Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Foundation. I've used this, like, since I started wearing makeup, near enough. I had like a brief dream matte mousse phase. I feel like we've all been there. Um, whenever I try and use something else, it brings me out in loads of spots, hence, the spots currently um because i use it was another clinique foundation but it was their more full coverage one but for some reason this is like the only foundation that i can use that doesn't make me hate my skin <laughs> all my skin hate me is probably more accurate now i'm going to use this bare minerals mineral veil it's just like translucent powder uh on this really dirty brush I used to love this, but recently I found it really quite heavy and it makes my feel, face feel quite chalky. I don't know, am I doing something wrong? Is it because my brush is too dirty? Probably, let's not talk about it. I'll wash my brushes later today. Good idea, Amy. Avoid the work you have. So this is my friend Tasha's jumper. 
I borrowed it the other day when I got stuck at her house because of the snow because I was not properly equipped obviously because I don't take a coat anywhere because I'm stupid um, and I liked how the grey looked with the background and with my stupid baby pigtails that I've got in today so sorry Tash if you're watching this which she probably isn't because she starts watching YouTube videos watches them for like two minutes and then turns them off and it annoys me so much <laughs> Not, not just my videos, like she does it to everyone's videos. Tash, stop. Do you guys do that? I really, honestly, I watch videos from beginning to end because I like to see the journey. What else have I been doing? Apart from watching Say Yes to the Dress. Oh, I've been thinking a lot about, oh God, we're going from one extreme to the other. Now we're gonna get deep. By the way, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Medium Brown. It's really gross, I need to buy a new one. Um, but this is a new brow brush that I opened the other day and it's Benefits New Brow Collection. I got um, given a whole collection of their stuff, but annoyingly it's slightly too light for my coloring. So I might do a giveaway maybe, I'm not sure. But what I can use is the brush and it's very, very good. So let me start the story from the beginning. Basically last week, I was really mopey and it's funny because I I hate saying this because everyone says it and it really winds me up but I do have quite a severe anxiety disorder it's all been diagnosed etc etc um and it does affect my daily life quite a lot but last week my mental health was really bad but it didn't feel like anxiety it was like I couldn't stop crying for long enough to get out of bed which is I'm really sorry this this there's a lamp here and it's making such an annoying noise look at the difference an eyebrow can make like I'm not saying that's a good eyebrow but it's an eyebrow whereas I don't have eyebrows otherwise yeah so I was horribly horribly sad <laughs> um always a good topic for a video and I don't really know like what was wrong as such and I do feel a lot better now nothing had gone really badly I just feel like at the moment nothing is really going well <laughs> Um, and I am a bit of a control freak, so I really struggle with that. Like, if I don't achieve something that I wanted to achieve, I really, really take that to heart and I take it as like a personal failure, um, rather than just sort of thinking, okay, well, try again then. I do always try again, but like, I take it quite hard. And when I was being like super dramatic, I said to my dad, I just, everything's rubbish. And he was like, that's not true. You have and do a lot of things that aren't rubbish. And he's right. And I think... I, I'm always aware of that like I'm not never ever saying that my life is the worst in the world obviously because that'd be ridiculous then I started being super melodramatic and crying more because I was like yeah well if I feel this way even now when it could be worse what's the point oh, god I hate myself when I get sad dramatic Amy is not fun Amy let me tell you that much she's hard work but um overall like the last few weeks have been really good like I've had lots of work opportunities like social media opportunities and event invites and like cool times with friends and stuff but I'm particularly stroppy this weekend because you guys know that I'm desperate to move to London I don't really feel very at home in Norfolk anymore but I was supposed to be in London today and yesterday and I couldn't get there because of the snow and it put me in such a bad mood hence binging say yes to the dress all day yesterday so yeah nothing's going particularly wrong but I, I felt like nothing was going particularly right either and actually that's not true I'm just being all whiny and sad <laughs> so any tips on how not to be whiny and sad greatly appreciated I'm using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour yes we're still only on face makeup I talk for England <laughs> and that's why there wasn't a video last week because last Friday and Saturday which was when I normally film and upload was like the thick of it and I just could not stop crying for long enough to get myself together and film a bloody video and that made it worse <sighs> anyway I'm gonna stop whining now what else happened last week mm, I oh Megan turned 22 I have known Megan literally my whole life and her birthday celebrations are still to come so that will be in a vlog in a couple of weeks so you can look forward to that because it's going to be so funny i'm surprising her i told her that i needed her for the weekend and that's that's it so i think it's going to be really funny i'm just gonna make my five heads slightly smaller with well i'm not am i but i'm gonna try and make it appear slightly smaller 
with makeup because that's what it's all about. Oh, that looks weird now. Ah, uh, when I put the eyeshadow on, I'll be fine. My motto always. And also, it was Justin Bieber's birthday yesterday, which means that five years ago today, I met Justin for the first time. I tweeted about it earlier. And it's funny because even though, don't get me wrong, I still love Justin Bieber, but I used to like base my entire day around Justin Bieber all day, every day. And obviously I don't do that anymore because I'm an adult and I have other responsibilities. I'll be interested to know how many of you already know this. Can you actually let me know in the comments whether you knew about this Justin Bieber thing or not before watching this? Basically, the thing that really got me into like, social media is I made a Justin Bieber Twitter account when I was younger something that my friends still like to hold over me to this day well screw you because I don't care and basically it kind of got a bit noticed by like Justin and his crew and stuff and so obviously because of that like quite a few other Bieber fans believers started following me and I got quite a few followers and I'm not saying it's about the followers. That's how I kind of learned that I really like this kind of interaction with people I don't know. And I used to do like fun polls and find out like how old all my followers were and like where they were from and stuff. And it was just really fun. It's really interesting that social media can connect you with so many different types of people. I'm just gonna use my Estee Lauder bronze goddess just to bronze it up in here a bit. Not that I need it because I've put on way too much contour. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what taught me that it's really fun to use social media to kind of interact with all different types of people. And I think had it not been for that, I wouldn't still be doing this. And actually it's kind of shaped my whole everything because I'm at uni studying media because I like the way that media can connect you with all different people. And the only way that I learned that was through my little Justin Bieber fan account. And also I just think like, it was something I was really passionate about and I still am. I keep talking about it in past tense, but just because I feel like that, kind of era of my life is over now really which is a bit sad but I think it happens when I was really deep in the fangirl mode I used to vilify people who kind of grew out of it but actually I've kind of realized that that's very healthy that being said I'm not saying if you're a fangirl that you should grow out of it because I think it comes with like time and experience. I really don't think that's a criticism. I don't think it's an insult to Justin Bieber that I no longer tweet him 50 times a day telling him that I love him. I think, if anything, it's kind of a compliment because it means that I've taken the lessons that I learned through that journey into my later life and they still affect me daily in a good way. And so the thing is, whenever people make fun of like my Justin Bieber stuff, I'm always like, okay, well you can make fun if you want, but ultimately it shaped me into who I am now. And I think that's really important. So rant over. But yeah, anyway, so what I was saying was, five years ago today I met Justin. Hmm, I wanna go quite light on the inner corners today. Ooh, she's bright. This is the part where I always put my lipstick on before my eyeshadow when I'm filming so that it doesn't look like I don't have a mouth. So I'm gonna use this MAC lip liner in the color Cream Kiss. So I line my mouth first. My mouth. <laughs> my lips, I line my lips. That also sounds gross now. I use the lip liner. And then I'm just gonna fill them in a bit, give them a bit more color. I don't really overdraw my lips because I always think I end up looking like a clown. Um, but I'm really jealous of people who can do their lipstick really nicely and make their lips look really like, I don't know, good good lips well done you know what i've really thought about doing get ready with me live streams because i'm sure after the rambly mess that is this video there's nothing you want more than this but unedited right i've never done a live stream before but i think then we'd actually be getting ready together and that'd be fun do you want that let me know i love this lipstick it's super old it's number 17 in the color bonbon this was my school lipstick that's how old it is and it's still going strong. I think that's because I bought like eight of them. Onto eyes. I'm gonna put some brushes away because my desk is a mess. How long have we been filming for? Oh my God, like 45 minutes. I need to sort my life out. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, whenever people have birthdays that are close to me or like something happens that there's like an anniversary of something or something like that, I always think like, oh my God, that was a year ago you know? Thanks, Amy. Insightful as ever. I'm just using my Tartlet in Bloom palette, by the way. I'm in this really strange position at the moment where 
I'm kind of wishing time away because I'm moving in July, August and I'm absolutely desperate to move, like counting down the days. <laughs> and I've got a lot of exciting things happening before then. I'm going to Florida, graduating uni, like I've got a lot coming up before then. But also I feel like I don't physically have time to fit everything in. <laughs> so my relationship time at the moment is very strange. On one hand, I'm like counting down the seconds um, until the summer. And then on the other hand, I wish that there were just a couple more hours in a day. <laughs> but to try and combat that, I've planned lots of fun things for myself, trips and um, like events and things like that. Um, so that will help make the time feel like it's going a bit faster. And in terms of needing more time, I have hired some people so that I can kind of spread my workload a little bit because that needed to happen. And while at the moment it's taking a long time to kind of get everybody set up and running and sort of understand how everything works and stuff like that, um, I'm already really seeing the benefits of just accepting help a little bit. The problem is, like I said earlier, I'm a massive perfectionist. Uh, not perfectionist, control freak, but I am a perfectionist too. Um, so kind of actually being able to hand work over to somebody else for me is really quite difficult. Um, and I really have a tendency to kind of micromanage which I try not to do. It's funny because kind of the business side of stuff is something that I keep away from like videos and social media usually. Um, I made a vlog in January actually where it was one day when I had a load of like work calls and um, it was, I was interviewing some people um, to hire them. <laughs> and I vlogged not the interviews, but like the process. And I never posted it because I just kind of thought that nobody would be interested. But then I thought, well, actually, I'd be interested if I wasn't me in that sort of thing because I'm interested in that sort of thing. And recently I have seen more people talking about their, like, business lives online. So I don't know whether to kind of get in on that. But also I kind of use YouTube as, like, my little fun, my fun little corner. Um, so I don't know whether to bring, like, work into it or not. But also I'm self-employed and I have been for years now. And I know that if I wasn't doing that, I'd be kind of interested in how it all worked. Um, and actually I am doing it and I like to see how other people are making it work. So maybe I will talk about it. Do you, is that, would you enjoy that? Should I do a separate channel? No, that seems silly. Gotta pop some in the outer corner. Smoke it up a bit. My eyeliner ran out and I bought a new eyeliner. Um, but I left it in my car, which has been abandoned due to snow. So no eyeliner it is but also i'm really struggling with mascara at the moment like i just feel like oh my god i've just realized i got gifted this used to be my favorite mascara in the whole world and then i stopped using it because mine dried up and i forgot that i got given a new one thank you soap and glory this is the thick and fast high definition collagen coat mascara and i have tiny stubby eyelashes and i hate them but i rub my eyes too much to get eyelash extensions also I just frankly don't have the patience. I just love this mascara so much and it's so buildable. Just look at that. Yeah, those are lashes that aren't as stubby as they normally are. What a compliment. There we are. Look, I made a face. I've done my makeup now, so I suppose that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stuff. I hope I can edit it into something watchable. But also on my list of things to talk about, it just says ghosts and aliens. <laughs> um, so I'll talk about that in my Wednesday video, I suppose, um, which is Media Monthly. So I'm looking forward to talking to you all about everything I've watched and listened to this month. God, I need to go outside. Maybe I'll do a workout. I won't. I haven't worked out in years. Ever? Maybe ever. Does PE count? Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, hey, look, I can make this talk. Thanks for watching, guys. What am I doing? Please leave me comments. I want to talk to you because I have been stuck in a house for days and I would like to talk to people. So please leave me a comment. Um, discussing any of the topics that we have discussed in today's video and I will see you on Wednesday. Good bye. <laughs>